YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Child of the 80s Project Pan Finale. I have finished what I think I'm going to finish, so there's no point in hanging on to anything any longer. So, out of the eight prompts I had, I managed to finish four. I finished for Blockbuster for Discontinued Product, the John Frieda Root Awakening Strength Restoring Smoothing Lotion. Thank God, I'm so sick of looking at this. It makes me want to scream just holding it right now. It went from 43.9 grams to 38.7. There's probably still a little bit left in the bottom, but it doesn't, it wasn't pumping anymore. So uh, I just, I called it as soon as it stopped pumping. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick of that lotion for my hair. I don't want to look at it anymore. For Ghostbusters or something green, I had the Sugar Cosmetics Eyeliner. I wanted to use it 10 times and I did. And I even got to sharpen it for during those 10 uses. So used that up, or hit my goal on that. For Princess Bride, an item you love, I chose the Julep Skip the Blush Stick in Golden Guava. I wanted to use it five times. This is what it looks like, and I did. And for Don't Have a Cow Man, something easy to pan, I chose the Bow Tree PLA Bubble Exfoliating Cleansing Pads. I want to say I had like 17 or 18 of these bad boys left, and I finished the last one last night. Thus, while I'm in here filming this for you. And I had four prompts left, two of which I've had since the beginning of the year, and I feel like failures on those, but it's fine, I'll survive. But for Brutus Cube, something colorful, I had the Sesh Nail Polish in Intrepid. I didn't bring it in here. I'll get a screen grab or something if you want to see what it looks like, but I wanted to use it five times. I only used it twice, and I haven't used it since last time, which is why I didn't even bother to go grab it. For 16 candles, something that makes all your wishes come true, I chose the Treatise Enzyme Powder. I just quickly realized that there was no way I was going to finish this. <laughs> but, I mean, that's my progress from when I put it in here. So I did make a good dent on it. I'll finish it next year, and I'll keep enjoying it until I do. I have no problem having this around. And to be fair, the two products that have been in here since the beginning, I do really like. They just did not get finished. For Hello, a Holy Grail product, see, stuff I like, I chose the Marc Jacobs, what are these technically called? Le Marc Lip Creams and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I will insert my paper progress throughout the year. I did not make a new mark. I have only used it once since last time. I just worked on other lipsticks this past year, so this one did not get finished. I will make sure it goes into a project pan at some point next year, and I will finish it then. <laughs> Because a lot of this year, as far as a full-size lipstick, went to the Chi Chi Viva La Diva lipstick, which is still not finished because it that little last bit will not die. But if I have to eat it, I'm going to finish it. <laughs> and the other one I have is for We Are the World, a universal product, and I chose something that would be the same color on everybody, at least I would hope so. The Ulta Beauty Automatic Eyeliner and Matte Cobalt. I finished a little less than half of this throughout the year. Put my paper progress up. I didn't really make any new progress on it, so I didn't make a new mark because I ended up focusing on the Sugar Cosmetics eyeliner. And I probably used this like twice, so it didn't really move. This is another one I will make sure goes into a project pan of some sort next year, and we will get it finished then. Now for Let's see everything else that I finished. I have, you know, my bag of stuff that I hold on to. I'll go ahead and talk about this one because it wouldn't fit in the bag. But for Relax, your favorite bath or pamper product, I chose the Ulta Beauty 3-in-1 Smoothie. It's a shower gel, bubble bath, and shampoo, which this will never touch my hair. <laughs> it was a buttercream cupcake. I did really enjoy it. Here were my marks. And now let's open up the bag. Let's see. This took me quite much longer than it should have, but I don't paint my nails often enough for as much stuff as I own. But for, where is it? Living on a Prayer, an item that is almost done, which the marks, this was actually from a different project pan, but for this project, this is how much I had. It is the Zoya 3-in-1 Nail Polish Remover. For, oh my god, one of my favorite items, I chose the NYX My Stripped Off Micellar Water, which these are pretty big, so it takes a while to go through them. My only complaint about that is you can only get them from the NYX website. 
added this for dipstick, Dukes of Hazard, an idiot product. I hate the packaging on this, so I call it an idiot product. It's the Generation Skin Brightening Kakadu Plum Eye Patches. They are all gone. That, took, that was another one that took me way longer than it should have, but because I didn't like dealing with them, I wouldn't use them. For ET, a unique product, not so unique anymore, but at the time I thought it was. The Briogeo Scalp Revival Car Charcoal and Tea Tree Scalp Treatment. Now everybody makes a good scalp treatment. Not everybody has good packaging, but everybody makes one. All right, let's see. Four. Take a chill pill, something pampering. I chose the Dr. Peel's Pure Epsom Salts. Let's see, for this, I think it was actually full. Like, it was like up to here, so. That didn't take me too long. Okay, four. I'm so sure a ridiculous product, and I put it in here for the packaging, and also it was actually really expensive. <laughs> so, the Tear Tear Rosemary One Essence, but it was super liquidy. I hate this kind of packaging for like super liquidy essences. Give me a pump or something, please. That was just too messy. Four, we're gonna pump you up a pump product. I chose the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum, and I did like it, but it's another one that's like super expensive. For Light Bright, something that makes you look lit from within, I chose the Kavas Perfecting Potion Illuminating Primer. This is a full size from this brand. That is insane, because it's also like kind of expensive. That's right, I had two of these in here. For Another One Bites the Dust, a product that is almost finished. So that was probably this one technically, because it only has one mark on it, but it doesn't really make a difference. But for I had another one of these. I've, I've gone through like three of those this year. They're very easy to finish. Well, this one I was actually pretty proud of as far as empties. For what's love got to do with it? An average product. I chose the Mayo Eyeshadow and Sunkissed. I said average because it was like a light matte brown. Very common in my collection. For Uno, an item you only have one of for a matte white eyeshadow. I think I was kind of specific. I chose the Ulta eyeshadow in Pure as Snow. Completely finished it. I hit pan on it in another project, but. For Let's Get Physical, a sexy item. I said red lips was a sexy item. So this is the Balm's Lip and Cheek Color in Vanilla. For Trapper Keeper, something with cute packaging and especially the full size of this is actually just like a straight up whale and I love it. But it is the Tony Moly Moisture Boost Cooling Algae Eye Serum. And finally, for Dynasty, a glamorous or high-end item, I chose the Illamasqua Lip Liner. That is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!